Hello everyone and welcome to another exciting episode of Rurikon's Raging Previews. So this time around I'm going to be previewing a game that hasn't come out yet as usual. Uh, and it's going to be, I'm going to be previewing through the demo of Castlevania Lords of Shadow. So I got this demo, I had a friend of mine saying to me it was really cool. And I have to say that I was somewhat disappointed with the lack of originality of the title. Because basically, as many people will have probably said by now, this really looks like a God of War 3 clone. And it's, it really is an understatement, at least from what, what I get from the demo. It really looks like God of War. And you guys will see exactly why in a few seconds. So basically, this is how the story starts. Uh, you see these cinematics, these are actually in-game footage. Now, due to the fact that this is in standard definition, the image is not going to look as good because, I mean, it's not going to look as good by nature, but it's especially going to look bad because it's raining all the time during the gameplay of this game. Now, I can tell you that I've seen the graphics in my HDM uh, with my HDMI, and the graphics look really solid, really good, but there is a considerable drop in frame rates on certain scenes. I'm not exactly sure if that's just because of the... Um, it's the demo and they're still working on the engine or if it's actually going to be like this in the final product I certainly hope not so basically here we had we get a good look at our main character that's called Gabriel uh, his weapon of choice is that cross thing and that cross thing actually uh, transforms into these chains of Olympus type things I mean seriously there's no other way to describe it the guy pulls them out and throws chains around and stuff you will see pretty soon so at start of the story you arrive at this um, village and you're looking for some um, god or something he's going to say in a few minutes uh, he's looking for the the god of something and basically you arrive at the village and you're confronted with uh, these monsters attacking the village so immediately because he's a badass like that he's just owning up the monsters so let's take a good look at the combat system so uh, it, it's basically the same style as God of War, you use square for a light attack, you use um, the triangle for the AoE attack, you have these fountains that uh, basically regenerate your health, which is what I'm going to have to do now because I'm doing the tutorial portion of the game, and as you can see, he's going there, puts his hand in the fountain, boom, he gets his life back. Of course I didn't really lose much life there, but whatever. This is being played uh, in normal difficulty just so that you guys get a, a feeling um, <clears throat> at this point in the game they're basically just throwing monsters at you I want you guys to take a good look at the weapon um, the weapon that he's using it's the cross and the cross doubles into a chain attack thingy and that's one of the main reasons why a lot of people say this game looks like God of War because in God of War you have the chains of Olympus you use the chains of Olympus what you see me do there was a ranged attack because these monsters drop daggers sometimes and apparently they must be silver daggers or something because you throw one dagger and the monster just explodes that what I did just now was the AoE attack that you guys saw spinning around um, and now it's basically just more monsters coming and coming and you're just fighting monsters to practice. Now they're going to teach you that you can grab them. And when you grab them, this little thing appears. And once the circles cross each other, you press any button and you can do uh, the, the grabbing finisher, whatever. Now, one thing I don't like that much is the fixed camera. Okay, so God of War also had a fixed camera. But I think the camera work was a bit better. I hope that in the final product, the camera work is actually better than this. Because this camera is kind of shaking around, doing all kinds of weird stuff. I'm not really in with that. And the other thing is the slow motion. They are really abusing the slow motion. Because, sure, slow motion is fine when you're doing a finishing attack. But here, they seem to be slowing the camera.